Hey everyone, this is Learning with Ray. So I've been trying to learn uh, Adobe Premiere Pro uh, 2022. Um, I recently started uh, making uh, a YouTube channel and trying to learn all the tools that I can to try to do video editing. Um, so I'm gonna try to create small little videos to show everything I learned as I create content for YouTube. Um, I have two videos out, um, not much editing, but uh, I expect them to get better over time. Um, and today I'm gonna show everyone how to put a picture over a video, kind of like a, an image overlay um, that'll be positioned over the video as the video is playing. Um, it seems super simple, but I had to look it up. so. I'm pretty sure there's other people trying to look it up as well. Um, I already got a couple things set up in my uh, Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, I had to look at other videos to actually learn how to make folders and stuff like that, but um, I'm at a really basic level, so I'm just going to start creating from where I'm at. And I could always go back if I need to, or if people are interested in it, honestly. Right. So right, we're going to have my video here. I'm just going to toss it in there. And this is the unedited video, as you can see my OBS is here. <laughs> right, so I'm gonna get that. And right, the video plays. I'm gonna mute the sound. We got our video. Cool. Now this is a picture that I was using in one of the videos that I recently edited. So if we look at the picture. It's just a picture of the masteries that I used in that uh, game. And I'm just trying to get that overlaid at the beginning so everyone could see what masteries I'm running um, playing with the game, uh, League of Legends, stuff like that. Um, so here's the image, right? It passes through. If you press Alt, you're able to zoom into the, the timeline, which is really nice. Took me a while to figure that one out, too. <coughs> so now I, I can position the image wherever I want, right? In the video, we want to start right here. Let's zoom. Image is automatically going to start in the middle. As simple as extending the image, right? You can make it last as long as you want, as short as you want. Um, that's pretty much how you get an image on top of a video. Super simple, but one thing I had to figure out as well that took me a little while. Right? Then once we get our image here in the video, we can see that. Uh, if we click on the image, you'll get the effect controls, and you get all these little things. Um, one, I still don't know what they all are, but I started learning about the effect controls, so we're going to go there. Um, so the mid the picture automatically starts in the middle, sometimes, right? You don't want it to start in the middle, so you can actually click on the position um, over here and hold the click down, and you could actually move the the position instead of typing at first I started and I was typing the numbers I'm like there has to be an easier way right um so eventually I figured out that you could just click and hold the click button and you could put the position at the starting point that you want so now if we run back the image will start wherever you set it up um <clears throat> the next video I'm gonna do is try to do a uh, very simple animation with the image moving or um, moving from one screen or not one screen moving from one piece of the screen to the other that's what i'm going to try to do next but for now this is so far what i've learned right and it has a bunch of different properties you could scale the image make it smaller or bigger <coughs> rotate very straightforward looking things right it has opacity um, for those of you that don't know opacity is just basically making the image transparent Right, so you can see what's behind the image, but at the same time you can see the image. But for now, right, I just learned how to move the image, how to put it on the screen, how to position it. Right. So let's say we wanted to start right here in the left-hand corner so it doesn't block anything. I'm going to start my video, image overlays, um, image right, gets positioned to as long as uh, you have it done here. Cut short, extend it, and that's pretty much it. Um, that's one of the first things uh, I learned. 
Um, besides cutting the video, it actually took me a while, right? I had to figure out how to use the little razor thing right here after watching a YouTube video for a while. Um, but that's it for today. Um, that's how you put an image on a video, overlay it, and mess around with some of the properties. Thanks for watching, guys.